MPE is an extension to the MIDI specification that instructs developers how to work with multi-channel MIDI data like is sent by the Roly Seaboard and also is built in to the FX Expansion Strobe 2 synthesizer. I have the Strobe 2 synthesizer placed in a track in Ableton and I'd like to use the polyphonic expression that's enabled in the MPE specification. Very often we'll have to go into our synthesizer and put it into MPE mode and we have to do that here in Strobe 2. And then we'll have to make sure that the Roly dashboard is configured in MPE mode. I'll go over to the dashboard to do that. Bottom right hand corner, I put it in multi mode, turn MPE on. I suggest in a practical situation to use as low as a polyphony as your song really requires. And what I'm creating right now is kind of an ambient pad for the breakdown of my song. And I'm gonna be playing a four note arpeggio and kind of changing uh, and, and sliding up on the seaboard during that performance. And so I really only need four voices of polyphony. So that's what I'm gonna configure here in the Roly dashboard. We'll choose a channel range from two to five. Now, in our previous videos, we've been using the MPE mode off in multi-channel mode. And when we did that, the channel was started at one and counted up. MPE is um, a little more developed, and what's in the specification is that channel one is a global channel. It's even listed here as the global channel. And all the monophonic modulation goes on the global channel. So what your touch faders are sending and your XY touchpad that, and, and the expression pedal, that's all gonna go on channel one because it's meant to function across all voices. Then all the data that's per voice is gonna go on the next channel. So channels two, three, four, and five. So if you want four voice polyphony, you're gonna use five total voices. Over in Ableton Live, I placed the strobe synthesizer on a MIDI track, and I'm gonna use that as my global channel. So I'll set it to be Seaboard Rise as the input, and then only to MIDI channel one. So as I record, all the uh, touch faders and XY touchpad, that information will go into that first track, but I need additional tracks for the additional voices that we're gonna play. Now, we have to do this because the original MIDI specification was using channels in kind of a track system, right? Each channel was supposed to address maybe a different synthesizer or a different sound within a synthesizer. The MPE specification kind of changes the usage of channels to enable per note modulation, which is really, really fun and it's kind of the, the beauty of this device. Some DAWs allow having multi-channel data within a single track. Other DAWs like Ableton Live only allow a single channel to be in a single track. Luckily, Ableton Live has a really robust routing scheme and it'll allow us to route single channel information directly to the MPE synthesizer. So I can create a MIDI track here for the second MIDI channel. I'll set its input to be Seaboard Rise. I'll set its input channel to be channel two. I'm gonna set its output to go directly to the Strobe 2 synthesizer. The same function works with Roly's Equator synthesizer. So that's going directly to strobe MPE. So I'm not going to track in, I'm going directly to the uh, synthesizer and I'll choose channel two. So the channels are gonna be the same. Now I can duplicate this track, command D, and I'll just change the channel assignments up one on both of those, channel three and channel three. I'll duplicate that track and I'll set it to channel four and channel four. And I'll duplicate that track and set it to channel five. I can record enable all these tracks and perform a little. Let's hear how it sounds. That's pretty nice. I think it's working well. Let's hear it in the context of my song and see what it looks like when we record the data. So I have all these tracks record enabled. We go a bit before our breakdown, hit play and record. 